Hey, what's going on? This is Mike with BrandTheBoss.com and in today's video, we're going to be going over how to get started in affiliate marketing. So if you are just starting out, you don't know anything about affiliate marketing, or maybe you've hit a plateau, maybe you're confused, whatever the reason it is, but you're not feeling confident in your affiliate marketing efforts, this video is for you. And if this is your first time to the channel, we talk about all things making money online. So if that's your thing, then hit the red button and subscribe. And at any point during this video or training, if you find it valuable, please smash the thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions, just leave them below. All right. So move this over here for right now. All right. So. As you see right here on the screen, it says, you do not have to be a guru. Now I wanna put that right there because a lot of the videos that you're gonna come across on YouTube are coming from gurus. They're coming from people who have been doing affiliate marketing for a very long time and are making uh, you know, extraordinary amounts of money. And it's a good thing because they know what they're talking about. But sometimes you get very lost in it and they, and they forget that how long it took them when they started out to make this money because when you see something like that and you've never made that much money in a short amount of time it it seems unattainable so i want to say i want to tell you this that you don't have to be a guru to make um to have success in affiliate marketing to make money to make commissions or whatever if you see right here next to that I put a screenshot of my PayPal account for um, today and yesterday. Uh, at the time of, the, of this recording, it is July 2nd, 2019. And so I got a payment today from ConvertKit and I, need, I, I went to go check it because I got a notification and I noticed that I got a, a $435 payment yesterday that I didn't know about. I, I honestly just didn't know about it. So I made $450 in the last 24 hours which is cool you know so um these are the type of commissions that i make on a consistent basis um and i'm not a guru at all i've been doing this for six months uh prior to affiliate marketing um i was doing network marketing and doing local lead generation for uh local businesses so i'm not a newbie when it comes to online marketing but i am still a little fresh when it comes to affiliate marketing but when I first started, it only took me two and a half weeks to make my first commission. And that was uh, 250 bucks. So it's not a hard thing, but I, I, I attribute it to, to, to three things. Okay. And these are three things I want you to keep in mind. One is to, for me is I found the mentor. Uh, second, I followed the blueprint. And third, I showed up every day. All right. And when I say I showed up every day, that means consistently. I, I followed the blueprint and I consistently do what it is I'm supposed to do. Because prior to my affiliate marketing, I was scattered. I got, I jumped into it and I was like, um, how am I going to go ahead and get started with this? And so that's what it took. It took me to find a mentor where then I finally, I learned the blueprint and now I'm just consistent with it. And if you, and if you take those three things into account, you can do the same thing as well. And, 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 and commissions like this are, are realistic. This doesn't take long at all to make. You just need a blueprint to follow. That's all it is. So, um, let's jump into this and make sure you stay to the end of this training. So I'm going to go over here to step one. So, Joe, if you're just starting out affiliate marketing, what you want to do is you want to uh, choose your niche. Now, you want to make sure that that niche falls in three categories, health, wealth, and relationships. These are the big money makers. Once you've decided on which one of those that you're going to choose, you want to niche down, meaning you want to get specific. You don't want to be broad. You don't just want to be talking about all things health, all things wealth, or all things relationships. 
the more specific that you can get within those categories, the more money that you will actually make, the more success that you will see. So an example of that is I am in the wealth niche. And if you go, if you, 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 you niche it down, I specifically talk mostly about affiliate marketing and making money online. There's different categories in wealth. You can be into Bitcoin, you can be into stock trading, you can be into investments, whatever. That you know, I'm not talking about that stuff. I I, I picked a category within health that you know meshed well with me and that interest interested me. So that is the first thing that you want to do. All right. Now the second thing is you want to choose your affiliate offer. So I break this down into three different categories. You have your affiliate networks, you have your softwares and your platforms, and you have your digital courses. Now out of these three, you should only start off with just one. Just keep it simple on yourself and start off with one. Now an example of an affiliate network is gonna be clickbank.com or Amazon Associates, which is Amazon's affiliate program. Uh, an example of softwares and platforms is going to be you know something like ClickFunnels, Kartra, Builderall. Those are SaaS programs. Um, you can promote those as well. And the third example would be digital courses. And I listed out the two that that I uh, promote the heaviest or have promoted the heaviest and seen the most commissions from: uh, Affiliate Secrets, Secret MLM Hacks. These are two different courses. One about affiliate marketing, another about um, network marketing. So. I wouldn't try to tackle all three of these at one time. Now, the great thing about affiliate networks is no cost to get started. You can just go to clickbank.com and create an account. You can go to Amazon Associates and create an account. The only thing with Amazon is I believe you have to have a website. So if you don't have a website in place, then you want to make sure you have a website in place if you're going to actually promote Amazon products but they're free to start anyways. Now, if you're gonna go ahead and take the softwares and platforms route, as far as I know, ClickFunnels and Kartra are actually free to promote. You don't have to be users or customers of either one of those. Builderall, you do have to be a customer of to promote Builderall, um, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. I, I could be off, but last time I checked, if I remember, you do have to be a customer to promote them. And there are quite a few different softwares out there that are like that, where they just won't let you promote them unless you're a customer of them as well, which makes sense. Um, it, it, it makes sense to promote something that you are actual customer of because you'll be more knowledgeable about it and you'll be able to sell it better to other people. So you can go that route. Uh, digital courses, um, actually, before I go to the digital courses, the good thing about uh, uh, um, softwares like ClickFunnels and the rest is that's reoccurring income. OK, so that means if you sign up, if you refer 10 people to ClickFunnels or any of the others and they stick with it, you're making money month after month on autopilot. It's not just one time sales. So that's the good thing about these softwares. Um, you you want to get into making monthly income where you don't have to rely keep relying on selling something uh, now with digital courses you're not making reoccurring income with digital courses but you're making higher ticket income meaning these courses will go for you know a thousand dollars and you can get upwards of 50 percent of that so um, for example, uh, I can't, re I can't remember, uh, I think affiliate secrets, I think they do 50%. And so I think that's like a $900 product. So half of that is what you get paid. So, you know, it's not reoccurring, but if you make enough sales, I mean, you're making a few hundred bucks. So, uh, versus choosing something like choosing something like a ClickBank product or an Amazon product where you're probably making, you know, 20 bucks. 10 bucks, you know, 60 bucks, something like that per sale. So choose an offer, just choose one and, and master that. So let's go to step three. With step three, move that out the way. With step three, you gotta set up your affiliate accounts. So when it comes to affiliate networks such as ClickBank and others, those are free to promote. You can sign up with those, no charge. 
All right, sometimes you're going, uh, you're going to have to be approved. It won't be instant. Uh, with some affiliate networks, uh, they want to know, you know, what your method is of promoting their products. And they, it's just because they want to make sure you're an ethical promoter. Um, so some of them will take a little more time to approve. Some actually want to get on the phone with you and talk with you first as well. Um, so there are different ones. Not all of them are like that. So it just depends on which affiliate network you choose. When it comes to softwares and the platforms, like I said before, like with ClickFunnels and, and uh, Kartra, you don't have to be a, a customer of them. Those are free to promote. You just go to the site and, and create an affiliate account with them and then you, you can promote your link and promote the product. Um, but some others you have to be um, customers of. You have to be an active customer to be an affiliate. So choose your softwares and your platforms um, wisely and, and just keep that in mind. With the digital courses, I, I put sometimes, I put sometimes that they're free, but um, but for the most time they are free to promote, but I say sometimes because it makes sense to be a customer of a, a digital product or course so that you, so that you can properly promote it. Um, in some cases you can, if you're going to promote a course, you can request with the uh, product creator to get a review copy so that you can do a, uh, maybe like a video review of inside their course um, but not all people are going to let you do not all creators are going to let you do that sometimes they just want you to be a customer of it as well uh, so you know if you want to properly uh, promote it so that's why I put sometimes now in all cases you're going to have to um, fill out the W-9 with all of these folks so uh, if you're in the US then you understand what that is if you're outside the US then you're going to have to figure that out figure out your tax related stuff for your country but all of these need all of these people are going to require um, that you fill out a w-9 for tax uh, purposes so let's go to step four now here at step four I'm talking about sales funnels now this is how you collect your leads with a sales funnel all right and so if you're if you're not familiar with what click funnels is or software is related to click funnels it is a sales funnel builder software so it builds landing pages sales pages uh, bridge pages things like that it's basically you put together a structure method for your prospect to go through so that you can convert them into a sale so this is a very basic example I have right here of a of how your affiliate funnel sales funnel should go you have your traffic source in this blue area your traffic can come from anywhere it can come from Facebook it can come from a blog or it can come from uh, YouTube wherever your traffic source is doesn't matter you you want you want your traffic coming to your opt-in page you want to set up an opt-in page and the whole purpose of an opt-in page is to collect the email addresses because you want to own the lead so you want to take the email addresses all right a big mistake that a lot of beginners do is they generate traffic through whatever sources organic or paid and they send them all the way over to a sales page or sometimes they just send them straight to a bridge page and skip the whole process of actually collecting an email now if you skip that process you just sit here and, and, and threw out time and money and effort to not own the lead you're just giving away the customer to the product owner and you don't want to do that and the reason you don't want to do that is, is I'm going to go over that in the next step but you want to have your lead go through your opt-in page collect their email and then it's going to send them to your bridge page the purpose of the bridge page is to make the connection between you and the product see because when they go to the sales page you no longer have any control over that that is all on the product creator okay so if you're sending them to amazon.com you don't have anything to do with amazon all right so you want to be that that middleman or middle woman basically leading your 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 prospect down and and and, and explaining to them you know 
maybe your experience in using this product, why you think it's so cool and why you think it'll be beneficial to them. That is the purpose of the bridge page. So it's usually a video of you explaining that stuff to them with a button under it to say, just click the button below to go buy the product. And they click the button and it sends them over to the product page, the sales page, where they can go ahead and purchase it. All right, now to build out your sale funnels, I do recommend click funnels. They are the best at sales funnels, okay? They are, they are the, the top of the line when it comes to building sales funnels. Um, there are a lot of others out there that you can use. And I mean, you can use anyone. This is just my recommendation. So here at step five, we're gonna go ahead and kind of add on top of the sales funnel thing is your email marketing. All right, remember that lead that you're getting here, that email address, you wanna take that email address and stick it into an autoresponder, which is basically, it's an email service. So this is how you store your leads. All right, because the money is in your list. All right, and the reason you want to collect those emails is because nine times out of 10, your traffic is not going to convert into a sale on the first try. It takes on an average of five to 12 times for a prospect to see you and the product before they decide to actually buy. So that is why you want to collect the email address and store it in an autoresponder something like Aweber or get response. There's a number, or there's a whole number of them. And I'll actually put a link under the video where it'll take you to a blog post I did where I talk about different autoresponders and you can make a choice on there for which will be best for you. But you want to store your leads in an autoresponder. So therefore you can build a follow up campaign to, oh, to, to follow up with them, to remind them of who you are, and the product because if they only see you one time and you're not following up with them and they didn't buy from you they're probably gonna forget who you are and they're gonna forget about the product or they might just buy the product from somewhere else okay so that's the purpose of a follow-up campaign this is a follow-up with your prospect and you want to build out at least 12 emails because like I said five to twelve touches is the is the range before they decide to buy from you so have so build out an email a campaign of about 12 of at least 12 emails now here at step six talk about traffic now when you're getting into traffic you need to just pick one method of lead generation you have your organic method method and your paid method you just need to pick one of these whether it's blogging YouTube social media or forums or etc and you just need to pick one paid method, Google AdWords, Facebook ads, YouTube ads, Instagram ads, whatever. Pick one of each. And the reason you want to pick one of each is when you're just starting out, it's going to take time for you to build up your organic traffic. Your organic traffic is your free traffic. It's going to take time. If you're going to be blogging, you got to put out enough blog content. And that takes time. It takes time for Google to pick it up in the search results. Same thing with YouTube. You know, you, if you're just starting out with YouTube, it's going to take time for you to build up enough video content before you start seeing traffic come in through those videos. So while you're building that up, you could be getting instant traffic by using paid advertisement. And you only want to pick one of each because you want to be a master of one method. You want to be a master of organic and you want to be a master of one paid method. So pick whichever one uh, suits you and, and run with it. All right. And that is the conclusion of that. All right. Six steps. Now, if you want to learn more on that, because that was just a framework, if you want to actually get to knowing more in the detail on how to put everything together having the official blueprint then you want to go ahead and click the link in the description if you're serious about making money online and actually doing this as a full-time thing or growing it to be a full-time thing you want to click the link in the description or you want to type that out in your browser okay this is for serious people who are trying to make serious money okay this is not for some hobby stuff if you're if you're tired of whatever your situation is whether it's a nine to five or maybe you just don't have no nine to five 
you know who knows what your situation is but if you're tired of it and you want to make money online you want to learn how to do it this is this is my number one recommendation to not only learn and get the training that you need but to actually utilize this as an affiliate offer for yourself okay so only if you're serious and if you found this content valuable please hit the like button subscribe if you like this information and leave any comments that you might have down below if you have any questions i'll do my best to answer them if you just want to say what's up this was some good stuff i would really appreciate that all right and be on the lookout for the next video that i put out i'm mike with brand the boss take care and i'll see you in the next video